Hello everybody and welcome back to the Long Dark. I'm player tested. When we last played, we were in the middle of the dark and we died by sleeping in a car. And <laughs> so we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to the coastal highway. Hopefully we'll be able to figure out how to get to Pleasantville. But we're gonna go to the coastal highway and do some exploring around there because I don't think there's really much else to do in the mist. Deary Lake, I think is what it was called. Um, so we're going to go back into here. And we're going to do some exploring. Check it out. Actually be able to see what it looks like during the daytime. Wow. That's pretty cool. Alright. So let's start exploring. I don't need to look at anything. No wind blowing, which is good. Ooh, that's a nice waterfall. Shiny. Don't need to look at my inventory or anything like that. It looks like it's pretty decently warm out. So I don't have to worry about too much of my... Well, I guess the cold is coming up pretty fast. Probably because I don't have really any type of good gear on currently. I've got my default gear and that's about it. Frozen corpse. Let's see what you got on you. This guy looks like he was not having a very good day. A hatchet. Small one-handed axe. Good for splitting wood. You can be used to hack meat in a pinch. Sounds good. Alright. Looks like he was fighting a wolf off. That was it's probably what I looked like whenever after I fought a wolf and, and died, you know, just ah laying on the floor or on the ground. Let's go in here. Let's see if we can't find us some decent supplies in here. Hopefully find us some good stuff. There's a soda can. Uh newsprint. Yeah, we'll grab that just in case. Happy wool sweater, yes, please. Sardine scrap metal. Man, I'm, I mean, I was sitting there, I was uh, talking with some friends and we were discussing things like if, it, like, just going through scenarios like this in our minds and, and trying to figure out what we would do. Nobody needs this anymore. In our, in, in these situations, you know. Like, we, we sit there and watch, like, The Walking Dead or something like that, and, you know, we're like, oh, well, that was, that was, I wouldn't do that. I would actually go off and do this kind of thing, and so, you know, going through those scenarios and... I think I would do pretty decent in, like, cold climate probably scenarios like this um be able to you know at least n maybe know how to survive oh wow they changed that about 11 hours left of daylight sounds good we're gonna harvest that one no, i think i could do i think i could do pretty decent in uh this kind of scenario to where i had to you know Go around scavenge. I think it would have maybe a little bit of a difficult time, you know, maybe defending myself. But I think if push came to shove, I would do the best I could with what I have. Hello, a pry bar. Hey, we were looking for maybe one of those last time. <laughs> Open up some locked lockers. Let's make sure. Okay, I do have a flip. Because this saved my butt from okay that probably wasn't the smartest move saved me last time from the wolves being able to hold this out just standing still they get scared and I can chuck it at them and they get really scared and run away which is a good thing because it's better than having them gnaw my face off hey look okay so there is a house there's more shelter down there yep the previous time just running through this and and 
not being able to see more than like just a couple feet in front of you is just all sorts of terrifying. It looks awesome. Big old mountain right there. You know, but before I could barely tell if there was anything in front of me. You know, oh, there's a deer. Still, in all the all the traveling around I've done so far in this, I have not been able to find any uh, any type of weapons or anything like that to be able to 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 fend myself off, other than like a knife and obviously now a hatchet. Those have been the only things I've been able to find so far. A tin of coffee. Oh, that's lighting the okay, that's what that's doing. Alright, put that away. That'll come in handy. I don't I don't okay, there we go. That's better. Alright. Anything over here? I should be oh, orange soda. Okay. The creaking is kind of creepy. Newspaper will carry you. Yeah, I noticed also, like, you can only carry so much before you start becoming encumbered, or... I think that's the term, encumbered. Um, and it causes you to start runs, running slower and things like that, which, when you're trying to get away from wolves, you can use all the speed you can get. Huh. Is there two? Do these do these paths join back together? I hope they do. Looks like they do. Okay. All right. Let's find us something because it's cold. I am cold. Hopefully, we'll be able to find us a nice house. I want to try to find Pleasantville. Oh, your fingers. Okay. Um, I want to be able to try to find Pleasantville. I haven't. I mean, I want to look around here to to see what's going on around here, but I haven't seen Pleasantville. Hey, there's a house way out there. Oh, let's go see if we can't get to that house. That looks. That looks like a decently safe spot. I'm getting cold though. So a house would be great because we know cars can't provide heat not like a house can <laughs> after dying in that car I don't think I'll be spending any time inside a car for the night anytime soon and I completely forgot I mean just after sh recording all that and and going through all that all those problems and everything going oh it's I'm fatigued I need to find a house that type of thing completely forgot I have a bedroll in my backpack that will allow me to sleep wherever I need to so I could have essentially slept inside the dam and had no problem could have slept all the way through the night woken up the next morning and been perfectly fine but didn't even think about that I was I don't know what I was thinking I think I was it was just in panic mode of trying to find somewhere to sleep and I didn't even think that I had a mobile sleeping apparatus with me at that point in time. Wow, that is a big old mountain. Gotta f oh, what? Oh, what is that? Oh, I gotta go up there next. That, oh, I wonder if that's got like a, it's a, like a, uh, um, a ranger station where you can Oh, I wonder if Ranger Station might have a a rifle. If that's possible, that'd be awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to go. Okay. Come on. Find something good in here. Let's see here. What flare. Is here? Yes, we'll take the flare. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Find some wood. Okay, let's get to the house. And get in this house so this way we can heat up a little bit. I'm surprised I'm not seeing any wolves. 
I'm, I mean, usually out here I'm, I'm finding at least four or five wolves by now. Well, at least one or two, I should say. But not four or five. Come on. A rabbit. A uh, Jap rabbit island, huh? That's probably why the rabbit's here. Because this is his island. Climbing up the mountain. Oh my god. So slow. I've so cold in my life. Um, you'll be okay, dude. We'll go inside here and you'll warm up. Be just fine in here. Let's get the lantern out. Let's do some search in here. A book. I could use this. Yes. Great for burning. Nothing in the cabinet. Oh, the TV's broken. Light switch probably doesn't turn on. Such a cute family. Fridge. What's in the fridge? Nothing. What's in the freezer? Nothing. Time to start scouring the cabinets. A toke. Mittens. Yes. Yes. Let's see here. Mittens. Yes, please. Awesome. So far, so good. Found us a couple items. Some wool socks. Antibiotics. Always good to have. What have we here? Wool long underwear. That'll help keep you warm. Nothing like wearing somebody else's underwear. Because, <laughs> you know, in a... In a situation like this, you know, you'll resort to anything, especially wearing somebody else's underwear, as long as it keeps you warm. Wow, okay. Well, it looks like my cold is going down. I can take the water. Wow. Okay. I mean, I yeah. I could use I guess this. As long as you ain't got no floaters in the toilet, I mean, that's it's it's at least water, you know, to be able to survive. But even then, I don't know if me personally I would do it. All right. Well, this is a pretty decent house. Let me extinguish this harvest some of this unusable stuff since there's nothing left in the house I think we're gonna try to brave it outside I want to go see if that hunting tower has some useful stuff in there and the wind's blowing great all right Here's hoping we can do a speed run up there. There's another island with another hat, with another house. Okay, we're not going to fall down. All right. So traversing up the mountain. I was able to find the pathway that got me up to this spot. I'm really hoping there's a gun in here. Then there's got to be guns. I haven't found one yet, but there has to be guns because I found rifle ammo. Oh, some nice music. An abandoned lookout. We're gonna go up here. I'm gonna make sure everything's clear inside. Looks good. It's nice. There's a bed in here. Good. Oh, so close. Nothing on the rifle rack. 
can of beans, some sardines, orange soda, energy bar. No, nope, don't light it. Want that. A hunter's knife. Hey. More reclaimed wood. And a rifle round. Shoot. Well. <sighs> no gun. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to rest up here. I'm going to make sure that... minutes, an hour, 30 minutes. Ah, uh, we'll go with that. I'm going to start us a fire, make it to where we can at least heat up for the night and not die. I'm going to rest, and when we come back, we'll do our continued search for Pleasant Valley and a weapon, a rifle. So until then, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, keep playing games and we'll see you then.